Rain sounds great. A Bloodseeker plus Snapfire. And you do get your slow and stun to set up for the Blood Rite. That can also be quite offensive, especially into a Doom. You, you can punish quite nicely there. And I think just earlier tempo drafts are, you know, easier to build up an advantage on. So I think OG yeah, has, has that running for them. I think... So pretty tanky, about 1k HP on solo. Is uh, is not gonna die and has four mangoes to spam, two blood grenades just in case he needs it. To even stick around trying to abuse DZ DM as Antares bottom lane finding first blood. And a little bit more farm out overall for nine pandas. But you are pulling ahead on Yuragi. Top lane, solo. Ooh, Shackle's gonna be nice from Randy. He's setting up on Tiger. One grenade will land. Tiger has no way of getting out, but a nice juke on the power shot. Solo trying to dive here, but this might cost him. He does get the kill first. And in fact, the Diagra on the tower. Has been killed. Oof. Beautiful plays here from Solo. Kiyotaka doesn't care quite as much, but he just wants to deny it away from BZM if he can. Seb gonna show up on the bottom side. Now BZM actually being targeted. He's one creep away from level six at the moment, but there's no creeps around for him to target. So Kiyotaka gonna move in. Seb even helping Kiyotaka out with that tether. Tips out immediately from the midwiven. As Seb actually added on to the damage output against the storm and now Tiger also gonna be in trouble. Solo will take him down. Your stable build up for Miero. Vanguard up, Midas next. Chasing around here for the seven minute rune as well. Nice cookie from Tiger. Gonna be able to take the Wisdom Root away from Solo and the immediate charge is out from DM. Oh look, he's a tanky boy though. Still going, but now out of mangoes and out of mana. Should go. Does have another decay in a moment. We'll pop it onto be onto DM, but he got to walk away with his head for our pie. Bottom lane, Doom has been committed. They've got the Bloodseeker with this. Antares moving in, but does not have disruption. We're trying to just abuse the Shadow Poisons, but in comes DM to try and help out. Even Tiger rotating now the Snapfire. The Doom's about to wear off to boot, so this could be very dangerous for Nine Pandas. Sticking around here is the Rapture. He's going to be committed onto Miero. He has nowhere to go. Just completely body blocked up. He's trying to be a Giga Chatter man up here, and he might be able to get away with it, because Kiyotaka's shown up. Power shot from the side as well. Ramses reveals his presence. And somehow Miero is still not dead as BZM gonna move in again, but oh, now man. the curse on the DM. Oh, God. Locking down three. Kiyotaka right on target. Tiger gonna drop. They do at least take down Antares. But BZM's out of mana. This is not what you want as OG. Shackle not gonna latch DM trying to protect his mid storm. But Kiyotaka is not giving up on the chase. Seb will show up now. Power shot will get it done. BZM oh gonna drop thanks to the splinter blast. Connecting on Seb. And sadly, OG are unable to respond for now. They are slowly approaching with a free wave top lane. It's Kiyotaka. In the meantime, Radiant Jungle is being attacked right now by BZM and Yuragi. The silence is wearing, lasting long enough, so he will go down. Up toward the top lane, DM is still sticking around for the large camp, so Kiyotaka will be able to set up with the Rod of Atos he has picked up. DM still could think about charging away, but disruption is available from Antares, and DM basically doing the running man there. And they, are, they have the vision from the zombies, but no point trying to dive the tier 2 tower, as now DM's rotated on the, uh, the Spirit Breaker. Tiger's there as well. No curse to play with, so Night Pandas might need to be a little bit cautious as Miero is going to get ruptured up. Kisses are to fly out. Solo's proving to be a very, very tanky boy though. He'll survive through all this for now, just decaying even more. Here comes BZM. Disruption is there onto the Shadow Demon. Antares trying to survive as long as possible. Now they've got the Bloodseeker doomed up. Antares, he might drop, but the problem is Yuragi's in such big trouble. He'll be able to run away with the first movement speed. It's now Night Pandas continuing to go have found the storm. BZM, no man to speak of, but Seb is keeping everyone alive. BZM able to get away just again as DM moving back in. OG just dragging out the team fight for such a long time. And it's working out in their favor. It'll last long enough, at least for now. But Night Pandas, they'll look to move back in onto DM now. DM eventually will drop Kiyotaka. He'll get a double kill on the Wyvern. Ramsey's looking for more. In comes BZM on the Storm. But he's really got no easy target to go after. Side of Nine Pandas. Then again for OG. You're also not farming up, but they are starting to get that aggressive play. They know they can afford to pump up when that curse is coming early. Well, there's going to be the Vortex into the Nether Strike setup here from DM. Disruption will buy him a tiny bit of time, but 
fight enough, I don't think, because Antares is gone. But now, with the time he bought, they will go on to the Storm with Kiyotaka rotating. But Seb, immediately, just going to relocate the Storm out. Does not want BZM in trouble. You still have Tiger there to tether to as well. The Nine Panda is going to try their best, I think, to stop this. Sierra ready with the war stop. Even the curse committed from Kiyotaka. But uh, Seb, I mean, Ron of Atos now to lock him down. For a rotating. It's going to be Miro just in case they need the help, but I don't think Ramses needs anything. Aegis will go the Wind Ranger's way. OG, no idea this is happening, and even if they did, they understand they can. can be able to immediately get something off the back of the Aegis, but. Well, oh, Ramsey's find something. And Ramsey's just soloing the uh, soloing the snap fire as Ramsey's, oh, being very patient with the doom, looking for the right entrance as BZM going to be so cautious here for the curse. There's your orchid out. They've locked down the storm. He's got no gameplay apart from hoping for Seb to save him, but Seb is nowhere nearby. A lot of options there. So DM finding some space for himself. There's your doom out. You speak of DM. Nero. To try and catch out the SP, though he is kind of just outrunning him here, and the Doom's gonna be wasted in the end. Like, Yuragi's gonna show up down to the bot lane as well on the Bloodseeker. Kiyotaka is by himself. This could be massive for OG. Instead, though, top lane is where the action's gonna break out. Ramsey's being jumped by BZM. There's your rupture onto the Wind Ranger. Ramsey's really doesn't want to die like this, but he is down. OG splitting up the side of Nine Pandas. You just don't want to split up right now as Nine Pandas. You've got strength in numbers. The blink now coming out on Ramsey's, so you've got a nice setup here with the blink on the Wind Ranger, though. Top lane, just curse Kiyotaka, gonna find DM. Charges out from DM, but Miero is there to follow up with the Doom. He'll secure the kill onto the Spirit Breaker. Meanwhile, bottom lane, another type break, another fight breaking out. Solo is already down here on the Shadow Demon. In comes Ramses though, Shackle onto Seb. Seb should drop and will do so. It's Ramses and Antares sticking around, trying to survive together. Yuragi and BZM, they can't really threaten them too much. Again, this Winter Wyvern is a massive threat. Radiance has still have Doom ready as well for the follow-up fight for Nine Pandas. BZM, smoke broken, Miero realizes something's wrong, he jumps in blind! He found the storm! No vision available! Miero just off the back of the smoke break! Makes the jump in and now DM's in trouble! The Spirit Breaker gonna be saved by Seb but not for long! A 2 for one special here with the curse. They will still aim down C the DM SB, but he is gone. He'll buy back into the fight. Seb also going down. Does not have buyback available. Yuragi in the meantime with the BKB trying to get as much damage off as he possibly can. But nobody is dying. He needs to retreat. DM, he might look to die back here on the Spirit Breaker. He'll try to charge away back into the side of Nine Pandas, but it's not enough. Burn. Like this here is just going to be a nightmare to reach into. Who do you really focus down on? You can easily try to charge a Winter Wyvern, but... Oh, Blaine, Tiger, being caught by Ramses. Easy shackle here for the Wind Ranger, and a, another nice kill here for Ramses as BZM is going to try and zip forward. It is just going to be a warning shot, though, from BZM. As now DM, maybe in invaded by his side, does get caught by the Purge of Antares. Haven't seen any of these connections here, Parker. Oh boy. Is there, or rather the curse is there immediately out onto Yuragi. Shackle to follow up from Ramsey, signing a perfect angle. Seb's gonna get tipped mid curse. It's Kiyotaka, he has been so good on this Winter Wyvern. 8, 1, and 9 is the KDA. Giving them no chances. BZM now trying for Solo at the top lane. Solo even proving to be quite tanky. Cute little play there by DM. They get to run away, but Antares. Just gonna jump in, DM. We'll use the same kind of trick. But they know exactly where he is. DM's got no way to go. Charge out, DM's still gonna try and find a way to run out. Meanwhile, Seb does go down to the bottom lane of DM. He's still gonna drop up top. Because even the storm not having a good time. BZM barely surviving for now, thanks to Tiger. The Tiger gives his own life away to save the storm's life. Had full Gleipnir up. A lot of hold to play with, a lot of damage. Level 20 is already up and running as well. And they'll just go for the last outer tower. They might get a catch here. They may. May do Tiger. I suppose VZM could try for a steal if he was feeling confident, but uh, that's a tall order considering how fast this falls. Made me feel like he doesn't need it. Won't even be around for that. Ramsey's having a hunt down a bot lane. Meanwhile, Miero gonna jump in. The ancient camps, but 
7 BZM going to be okay to back off. Meanwhile, mid lane, Kiyotaka, he has found Tiger. The T2 tower just dropped. Tiger's life will be gone. BZM still going to come in with the relocate. The buyback is there. Kiyotaka is being targeted. The Doom now committed after the curse onto the Storm Leaves. No play left for BZM. Seb unable to get him out as well. The two down here for OG. Maybe even a third as Yuragi has been purged by Antares. He's not going to be able to outrun nine pandas who are just smothering OG in the Radiant base. They're just diving them. Kiyotaka on a triple kill onto the T3 top tower. And well, OG, they do have buybacks, but you start to ask yourself whether it's worth calling it. And yep. they do. Museum's had enough. It can't fault them. You know, nine pandas play this aggression start to finish all their lanes feel pretty damn solid coming out of this one damage out there for dark warden as well but level three onwards should be a little bit more manageable so we'll see the mid lane matchup definitely dictating that timing here for og if it falls behind then yeah too much farming here let's see how it all goes down og going back for some comfort here in this game to draft against nine pandas this looks like an, a very entertaining game between these two teams a lot of wave now, and against Tiger's Ench, Tiger's being very effective at just making life very hard for Miero. So the Blood Grenade does fly out, but there's going to be no real follow-up to it. In fact, now the turnaround, they pop a mango here, Miero going to go for a call out, and Tiger will be punished. And quite well. Seb's still being chased down by Solo, one more hit will do it for the Pugna. He can't get it though, Seb will win run, and barely makes it out, is now mid lane. Chases on for Kiyotaka, no points in chain. If they can control him up long enough, Kiyotaka should go down. More spark rates flying out, but now the rotation's in from the supports of Nine Pandas onto BZM. The old Uno Reverso card. BZM still surviving a little bit longer, but not quite long enough. As Kiyotaka finds a double kill onto Seb, looking for a little bit more, though Seb Ooh. does at least get on Tares, but my god! Up front like this. Again, you can't underestimate the output of the bat ready support. I mean, just running down like this is painful for Taiga. Yeah, Taiga. Not really much of a way out. Kia Taka's just got so much damage. And though. He's trying to go for the double damage rune. Does have the potential to turn here on Kia Taka. Antares is going to come in from the right side though. BZM again going to be targeted. But a nice nope. shackle. Seb landing onto Kia Taka. He'll just chain up to the high ground and try to survive through this. Spark Rate's coming in and he is going to die. BZM able to secure the kill here on the Arc Warden. Last year, after being dead for a very long time, lands up the shackles. Huh? That one doesn't land this time on the tree. Miero is a pretty tanky target, but he is completely surrounded. We'll go for the call out on Yuragi, but he will time walk off most of the damage, though Miero is still trying to man up, but there's the chrono committed. Yuragi able to secure the kill before he does need to escape. Here comes Kiyotaka now trying to go after the engine, does at least take Tiger's life. Excuse me, rather Seb's life as Tiger is still running. Seb has rotated to try and set up for something. It's about Solo, does throw the shackles out. It won't last very long, but Solo is already extremely low. As now Tiger's rotated. The Kremify going to keep the Pugner alive at least for a little bit. But in comes BZM. They want the Timber real bad. Kiyotaka still going after Tiger. Does it help secure the kill onto the Ench? It wasn't really in any danger. Mid lane, Kiyotaka. Start to push into the mid team. Once Aaron now Miero, he's got the blink up. BZM not expecting it. They will dunk on him. They might have a secondary dunk here on Tiger. He will try to run them, but the flame break is there to knock him back. Miero, he won't get the secondary dunk. At the same time, you probably do lack a good jump to take care of that morph. So maybe you get a way to initiate in here. Kiyotaka going after the inch. BZM is going to be around to slow him down with the flux. Kiyotaka not giving up, but Tiger is doing a good job of kiting. Kiyotaka may be going a little bit far, but has the life drain from Solo to try and keep him alive. Problem is now he's running low on mana, still very low on HP. Miero is going to show up, jump in his in on Zeb. Dunk will be there, so the Wind Ranger out of the team fight, but Kiyotaka's gone. Yuragi, he does have Chrono up if they want onto Miero. Raw will be committed first from DM. Now the Chrono comes in, catching out too. Solo, he will not be targeted because he had the Decrepify on himself. But they've still got at least Antares to chase down. And Miero is not out of danger yet either. He is going to fall as Antares could not fight out Yuragi. And suddenly OG fighting three for the price of one. 
Meanwhile, live action, Seb is currently being chased here by Kiyotaka, but is going to be able to win run out of there. Piero and Antara is looking for a blink call opportunity. Have found BZ in the mid lane, the Arc Warden. Constantly the focus of Miero is going to take him down. Now they've even found Tiger. Lasso from Antares to set up. They do have on hand. And again, they're just ready to invade. Blade Mill up and Miero. More than willing to always look for these call plays. Poor old Tiger. Not going to escape the grasp of Kiyotaka. Have to pay a little bit to try and go for the dive in with the, with the blink. Kiyotaka forcing some rotations from Yuragi. Chrono is available. But you've got to catch Solo with that. Miero, he'll just happily jump in after the Void. Yuragi, not going to get ducked on. The Culling Blade was not there in time. The time warp was quick enough. They still have Chrono to play with here, OG. They don't need to overextend. In fact, Lasso is out. Seb, from the Wind Ranger, has been caught, but he will get the Wind Run off in time. Still alive as he does get a nice shackles, but the dunk is in from Miero. OG. You argue also taking his sweet time to try and get his own farm up, trying to keep up with Ramsey's. Lasso, who they got? It's going to be Tiger. They'll try to pop the heel of the Dota Universe or something. You're asking Arc Warden to be meta, Mike? No, no, I'm just saying right? by law. In fact, hold that thought, because Seb's in trouble now. Kiyotaka, he's going to cop the roar. Seb barely surviving. They do stop the chains here from Kiyotaka, but he'll have another one to throw out. So they are trying their absolute darndest. The chase is much prestigious, Seb. He's always going to cop crap from the young'uns like this. Juragi, oh. going to be fine. Lasso is out uh, from D onto DM, and DM is just down. They are trying to rush towards the Roshan pit and get there in time. Chrono is up to play with. Roshan, that one quarter of his HP left. I don't think OG are going to make it, but they are still trying. They are very, very close by now. Juragi, he'd have to pretty much dump it instantly, and even then he wouldn't make it in time. Then I pandas, they want the fight. Lasso is out. Tiger is caught already on the edge, and Tiger has just been bursted down as Juragi. He does get a two-man chrono, but he has no follow-up to it. There's just no damage. Antares is still alive, and now that calls out on Seb. They've caught another in the Wind Ranger. Seb trying with the power shot, they will at least get the Bat Rider. The Sweetie Age is still up on Kiyotaka. Not much to be worried about. Look at Kiyotaka, no cares. Just goes forward by himself. Yeah, he's got two lives. Already struggling to pin off once anyway, as they are going to try it now. Kiyotaka, very low on mana, is trying to tank through it, but they have got him the first time. Now we saw this before from Kiyotaka. He's going to be careful. He'll chain towards DM. Tucker is there. In comes Ramses to try and help out. Ramses just jumping right into the back, looking for another target. Seb's going to get a nice shackles off onto Kiyotaka, but he is surviving. There's now Miero. He's out with the call. He found Tiger. There should be a dunk, a culling blade to come out, and they will catch it. Three down for OG. Kiyotaka setting up a great fight as now they've even caught Yuragi. That's a, that's a four-man wipe. Manta being a pretty big timing for the uh, the new Arc Warden, but in yeah, two and a half minutes, it is going to be down. Oh, what Shackle is from that? Seb landing from a mile away onto two heroes. And he's going to catch Solo with that. A perfect shackle from Seb. He's, a, he's had a very tough game here. 1 11 and 6 on the edge, and looks like he has no way out of this scenario. And Tara is going to give the vision. Miero doesn't even need the, the blink. Not even calling him, actually. Just chasing him down. Oh my, my goodness. I mean, that's just sending a message here from Miero. Back off, but Seb is on Kiyotaka's mind. Kiyotaka having such a good series. Almost deleting Seb top lane. Won't get it quite. As you argue now, Chrono out. He's going to land on two, but again, Solo is outside of the Chrono. He oh, can just live no. free Miero. No, no, and Miero is no. not taking any damage because the morph with the axe was there from Ramses. Yuragi's attack speed is just so damn slow. At least they might find Solo, and they will. The Pugner is down, but here comes Kiyotaka. They'll go right after the Tempest Double first. Yeah. Never know, Mikey. Easy, yep. Yeah. Moving on to Antares with the, uh, with the Tempest Double. Antares almost dying, but now they have caught out Tiger. Miero, no hesitation. Kill again, Tiger. Just buying space, they're stalling out quite nicely, OG, although they're fucked up, but... 
the shackle there. Lasso committed. DM. It will run the bat rider. In comes Uragi. Chrono is coming off cooldown and now is available. Antares, he might drop. Solo getting extremely low now. Uragi finding two for their trouble. A two for two so far, but now the oh call out from Yero. Clayton up on BZM to boot here, John. This could be a nice timing for the OG to try and make this fight happen. Jump in. Who they got? It's going to be the Timber. But Kiyotaka, he's already popped his BKB to look to retreat. Uji will wait that one out. Meanwhile, Miero rushing forward, looking for a call, has found two targets. A perfect call from Miero. Ramsey's already bursting one down. A three man chrono. Yuragi, can he get any damage off? Solo's just healing them up, but he's got Ramsey's down. Oh, OG. Making the fight work as Kiyotaka gonna try for the TP out. Thanks to the decrepit fight, no bash will come from Yuragi. Frame proving to not be enough. Certainly not. Really big chrono, big opportunity. Taris. Ooh, interesting lasso. Kiyotaka's gonna show up again. BZM gonna be targeted. BZM getting very, very low. Gonna get into the magnetic field. Has found the Batrider. Will juke out the Chakram. Moving back in onto Kiyotaka. He's starting to get low to the damage of Tiger. Meanwhile, Solo barely surviving, but no, the power shot. Set from a mile away. And now the Shackle onto the creep, holding down Kiyotaka. Though the BKB is Ooh. still giving, gonna give him some life as Yuragi. He is gonna drop. Buyback is out from Antares. He wants back into this team fight. OG trying to retreat are at least gonna be able to get Tiger out. The Nine Pandas still chasing for more. Kiyotaka looking for DM and Seb. He's gonna catch up now. Getting the hex off onto the Beastmaster, but Seb is gonna stay behind to try and protect us now. BZM TPing in. Kiyotaka's gone too far. Uh oh. Nine Pandas. Oh. These boy. are the kind of small errors that can be punished quite heavily by OG. Uh. They are not slowing down OG. They want more. Miero, he's gonna pop the blade mail. Shackle's gonna hold him down. Look at the damage from the Arc Warden. So Lasso, he's gonna catch Seb. DM being chased here by Ramses. Seb somehow still alive, but should drop here on the Wind Ranger eventually. Meanwhile, DM trying to run does go down to Ramses. Now Seb somehow oh, moving back into the Bat Rider with the shackles, but the chase is on. Ramses surely has this Wind Ranger in his grasp. Seb still trying for Antares. He's gonna run up north, but Ramses eventually gonna get the kill. Meanwhile, all to the south though, solo. Maybe overcommitting to the fights just a little bit, not respecting that output on BZM. No one managing to jump on top of the Arc Warden. Roche just takes no time at all. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, Mike. At the same time, balance reasons, you just answer yourself. Oh, nice juke out, Yuragi. Avoiding the call here from Yero. So the jump is there. The Chrono not doing enough thanks to the Decrepify of Solo. And now Yuragi needs to find a way out as Ramses is on the chase. The Tempest double going to be left behind. Though a nice shackles here from Seb holding down Kiyotaka. The Timber still going to be just fine though as they continue to chase. Yuragi is going to drop. The Aegis is gone. DM, he will melt to the damage output of Ramses. And now the Void being held down by Miero. Would not survive as the Tempest double again. BZM. Trying to find some form of a pick off, but Gregory happy with the big spell usage. Ramses? All by himself, but two. Well, he, he, maybe uh, he should Ramses, feel be careful, sir. Ramses, be careful, sir. Uh, he's gonna strength more. He'll move back in now. Under the temper stubble. He's gonna make it. He goes on Taurus. There's your lasso. He's caught Tiger with that. Tiger? Not gonna survive through. Certainly can be. I mean, you see that graph, just a, the, a little bit of the swing. Miero, pull is out. He caught Tiger, but he does have backup. Miero dropping low, and now a nice shackle, even finding Kiyotaka, but he chains to the north. Still a successful team fight so far. The OG. Is it because magnetic field gives the full <laughs> bonus attack damage, even to illusions? Not a reduction. Solo gets caught. Roar is committed, Antara is immediately out with the lasso, dragging back DM, so he's gone, but now a Chrono has caught out two, Solo does die, Miero with the call though, oh. he's caught two targets, Tiger and Solo and Seb both going down, there's nine pandas, they will rush BZM, that's the one they really want, and BZM is that? down, Yuragi, he's gonna get stunned, no TP available, he gets called to boot, and love this game, he's had a fantastic series so far here, OG, they do have the opportunity to buy back on their Void, but without Chrono, I don't know how worth it's going to be. They're going to give it one more crack. 
Ramsey's retreating a little bit, does move back in along with Kiyotaka, and that's Tiger dying back immediately. DM in the meantime, looking to die mid lane as Antares will just chase him down. And Nine Pandas, they are still just going for the fountain as Miero is in with the call, taking down Yuragi. That's got to be it. OG could not make the comeback, and GG is called. Nine Pandas finding a 2 0 victory here over OG.